Welcome to Language Help. Today we'll try to answer the Knight's Q card. We'll show you our effective four box method. And you can use this method to answer any Q card. We'll discuss vocabulary and we'll show you an example answer. Subscribe, hit the bell icon, and let's get to business. In case this is your first time, let me tell you about IELTS Q cards. When you do the second part of the IELTS speaking test, you'll be given a piece of paper with a question written on it. This is what's called a Q card. You'll be given an empty paper, a pencil, and only one minute to structure and organize your answer. After the minute is over, you're supposed to speak on the topic for about two minutes. And then you'll answer one or two follow-up questions. Not all questions will be familiar to you, and you're not expected to tell the truth. So you can lie as much as you want, if you want to, that is. In today's example, the cue card question is to describe a piece of clothing that you like. Whether it's a suit, shirt, shorts, track pants, vest, t-shirt, hoodie, dress, jacket, jeans, blouse, raincoat, long dress, or a skirt, we all have one item of clothing that we like very much. And in most cases, this choice has something to do with the seasons of the year. Think of your choice while we discuss the cues. The first cue is what the item of clothing is. Well, we have to decide on the type of clothing. So think of the season you wear it in and where you keep this item. Also on your paper draw box and note down the tense you'll be using to accomplish this specific task. If you cannot decide on the tense, you can always rely on the tense of the queue. In this case, the queue tense is the simple present tense. If you need to talk about the person who gave it to you, then you need to use the past tense. The item of choice for our example is a green argyle sweater that I received from a friend. The next cue asks us to talk about where and when we bought it. The first step is always to establish the tense. In this case, we'll use the past tense. We also need to think of occasions, shopping, friends and family members. In our example, the item of clothing is a gift from someone who bought it for us. The third cue asks us to talk about when we wear it. The tense of the cue is a simple present, which is exactly what we need to describe everyday activities like wearing a dress. We also need to think here of feeling, timings and seasons. In our case, it's a sweater, so think of winter. And in terms of feelings, think of memories. The fourth and final cue is to explain why you like wearing it. Obviously, the tense here will be the present simple. Think of feelings and emotions to answer this cue. If you're following the exercise, your paper should look something like this. Now that the box is ready and you're ready to speak, remember not to look at your notes for too long. So try to maintain eye contact with your examiner. Try to give an equal amount of time to each cue. And remember to use unfamiliar vocabulary, a few collocations, idioms, and a mix of tenses if you can. Use these correctly or not at all because you need to stay on the safe side. Before we start with the answer, remember to subscribe and click the bell icon to receive all updates on our IELTS speaking course. You can also pause here if you want to try on your own and then you can come back and compare. Now here's our example answer. The cue is, what is the item of clothing? Our answer is, I've never been sentimental about clothes. I usually wear whatever fits. However, I do have one sweater that I hold dear to my heart because it's a present from my late friend. He passed away a few years back. The sweater was his birthday present to me. It's a green argyle patterned sweater that is very warm in winter. When you feel sentimental, then you are prompted by feelings of tenderness and nostalgia. I do have is a structure that shows emphasis. It includes an optional do. To hold dear to one's heart is to value something greatly. Argyle is a pattern made of diamonds. The next cue is when and where you bought it. Our answer is, I received it from him on my 19th birthday. I recall my birthday was held at my parents' house. A lot of people came to participate, including my friend. 
I remember my mother complimenting my friend's taste in clothes. She said it was exquisite and elegant. Unfortunately, I was too overwhelmed with gifts at the time to truly value this particular sweater. The realization came years later. To recall is to remember or to recollect. To participate is to be involved or take part in something. To compliment is to express praise or admiration of someone or something. Exquisite is when something is extremely beautiful and delicate. Elegant, on the other hand, is something that is graceful and stylish in appearance. Particular means specific or certain. Unfortunately, it is used to describe an event that is unlucky or bad in some way. When you're overwhelmed, you're drowned beneath a large mass of something. To value is to consider someone or something to be important. Realization is when you become fully aware of something as a fact. The next cue is when you wear it. Our answer is, nowadays I try not to wear it out because it's one of a kind. But when winter is at its coldest, the sweater helps me stay warm and brings back the memory of my friend. Sometimes, depending on my emotional state, wearing the sweater becomes uncomfortable. That's when I put it back in the wardrobe. Nowadays means the present time. When something is one of a kind, it's unique. Emotional state is a collocation. A wardrobe is a large tall cupboard or recess in which clothes may be hung or stored. The next cue is to explain why you like wearing it. Our answer is, overall, the sweater is as comfy as it gets and it's absolutely enjoyable to wear as it goes well with all my other clothes. But the sentimental depth is what attracts me most to it. It keeps my friend's memory alive. It's as if the sweater is alive on its own and begs to be worn every winter. As comfy as it gets is an idiom that means nothing better is possible or available. When clothes go well together, they fit each other. Alive is when something or someone is living and not dead. So there it is. What about you? Tell us about your favorite item of clothing. Share your answer with us in the comments and we'll give you feedback. Subscribe, ring the bell and be ready for the next lesson.